Are you looking to connect other programs that you're working with with your Monday.com account? Let me show you how you can access the app marketplace within Monday.com so you can make those connections and easily connect one system to another. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner. My goal is to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. So let's jump in to today's tutorial. When I think about the apps in the Monday.com marketplace, I really think that there are two kinds of apps. The first kind is one that will connect my monday.com account to another system. Let's just say I want to connect Facebook or Google Analytics, or I want to connect QuickBooks. I have apps within monday.com that I can easily connect two systems together. And that way I have a flow of information from one to the other. So I'm not always going back and forth. The second kind of app is something that enhances the functionality within monday.com. So I'm going to show you an example in a minute of an app called DocuGen that I use to create invoices or a PDF. You actually can create a Word document as well within monday.com. So again, I'm taking an app and I'm expanding the functionality of monday.com using that app. So let's jump in and I'll show you exactly how you can access the app marketplace. In order to access the app marketplace in your monday.com account, you need to scroll to the top right and see all of these icons. Just find the one that looks like a puzzle and says apps. Once you click on it, you're, you can see that you're in the app marketplace. All the way over here on your right side, you can see all of your installed apps. If you're not an admin on the account, you need to ask an admin to install an app. Now there are tons and tons of apps in the app marketplace. You can search them on either by searching up top or you can search them based on different things like by category here you could see CRM, marketing project management or editor's choice, new apps. But as you scroll down, you can see there's tons and tons of apps here. So if I wanna choose an app and now I'm gonna use DocuGen as an example. So I'm just gonna search, let's just say Docu, and here I have DocuGen. I click on it and here you can see some information about the app, different plans. Here you can contact the developer and um, sometimes there's pricing depending on the app. And you can just add this to your account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump now to my board where I have actually installed the DocuGen app and now I wanna use it. Just so you're aware, the DocuGen app takes information from your line items in monday.com and creates a PDF or a Word document. Now I use this on this invoicing board to create an invoice over here. So if I want to install it, I need to go to the view. So I'm going to click add view and you click apps and you can see that I have a DocuGen view and I would just click on the DocuGen view. Now I've already installed it. So you can see here, that it's already going to load for me. It's important to know that there's a few different kinds of apps that you can use. You can either have it on a level of viewing it. So that would be like a view over here. You also can have it on an item level. So I would go here like emails and activities is an app. The other way that you can do it is you can actually use it within integration. So there's something called magic column. He has a few apps and general caster and those, if I would install them, um, then I would either go to integrate or automate in the newer versions of monday.com. They actually combine these. I think it says workflows, but you can go there and use your app. So apps are really, really helpful if you want to expand the functionality of monday.com or if you want to connect with other programs and you want to pull the information from one place to another. I will say that you may need to use a program either called Zapier or Make, which is a third party tool that has even more functionality to connect different programs. So, and that's a little harder to set up. You need a little more skill. So I probably would start with the app marketplace. And if, it does, if it's not uh, sophisticated enough for you, the specific app to do what you want, then I would head over to Make or Zapier to see if that can help you. So let me know what cool apps you find and how you've integrated them into your workflows. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like it below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. That's it. Until next time.